ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಗುವಂಥ ಮತ್ತು ಆ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಒಂದು ಬಗೆಯ ಅಲಂಕಾರಣವನ್ನು ನೀಡುವಂಥದ್ದನ್ನ ಕ್ರಾಫ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಕರೆ ಟಕ್ ಅಲಂಕಾರಣ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಕ್ರಾಫ್ಟ್ ದ ಡೆಕೊರೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎ ಕ್ರಾಫ್ಟ್ ದ ಯೂಸ್ಫುಲ್ನೆಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಲುಕ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಎ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಎ ಸಮ್ ಸಮ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಅಥವಾ ಹಿಸ್ಟಾರಿಕಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಲ್ಚರಲ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಕ್ರಾಫ್ಟ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಬಟ್ ಕ್ರಾಫ್ಟ್ ಅಂತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದಂದರೆ ಕೈ ಕಸುಬು ಅಥವಾ ಕೈಯಿಂದ ಮಾಡ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಕ್ರಾಫ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡಿ ಕ್ರಾಫ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ತಯಾರಿಕೆ ಅಂತ ಸಿದ್ಧಗೊಳಿಸ್ಬೋದಂಥದ್ದು ಕೈಗಾರಿಕೆ ಅಂತ ನಮ್ಮ ವೃತ್ತಿನೇ ಇದು ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಕ್ರಾಫ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ಅಸೀಮ್ಲೆಸ್ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಗೋಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ನೋ ಬೌಂಡ್ರೀಸ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಫೈನ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಅಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಪೈರ್ ಅಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಪಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯೂಸ್ it can be decorative it can be it can be functional but it has to have a traditional base the craft element will definitely be there even in the decorative and functional items in fact one of the main purposes is to keep the decorative element important there is a very thin dividing line between the craft and the arts but when it becomes mechanical and also produced in large scale by a community of craftsmen then it uh, tends to to become less of an art or more of a craft kale ambudu adu huttininda bandilla madam kale ambudu kalivikeyinda bandidu obri obru kalivikeyinda bandidu adu huttininda yavud bandilla kale ambudu after all when you say what is craft it's something skilled that you do with your hands ಬಡಿಗೆಯರು ಬಡಿಗೆರ್ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ರೀ ನಾವು ಕುಂಬಾರು ಕುಂಬಾರ್ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಕಂಬಾರ್ ಕಂಬಾರ್ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೆ ಬರೋದಲ್ಲ ಕಲ್ತಾರ ಮಾತ್ರ ಕಲ್ತಾರ No, that's why when we think of our old uh, homes, anything, even a little cooking vessel was a, a craft with the base of art in it. So it's the people who can, uh, of uh, a strata which can afford, will start making the utilitarian thing more decorative. The, what was ordinarily a mud house, because that is what they lived in. When you started earning, you thought of other things, you thought of wood, because it was available in plenty. Craft is a process. I, after that, all these things like this is art, this is craft, this is design are completely historically market-driven, determined <coughs> categories. I'm aware of Kanakagiri, uh, you know, the wood carving which is used for architecture which I think is the most important of the area and most traditional of the area. Uh, then we have uh, black pottery in uh, Kamalapur, then we have the Kinnal which has a lot of those uh, temple chariot uh, murtis are made with that. The major uh, art which over a period of time became a craft is uh, sculpting and uh, and um, producing uh, uh, lithic as well as the metal objects. Hampi region, definitely stone. Anything done with stone because it's the area where you can get. Stone craft was a major craft. And we also used to have stone carving which is really now as of today is not uh, much living and I think it needs to be seriously looked into because there used to be iron smith uh, lohars which have also pretty much disappeared the most important craft is is the is that of the carpentry the carpenters have played a very important part then and they are continuing to play an important part even now also because there is no village uh, at any stage of history without a carpenter and a smith lambadi is uh, something maybe it's been around for a couple of hundred years or less uh, lambadi embroidery uh, weaving Uh, of natural fibers which is in Singapore there are large number of temples and these temples is he employed a very large number of craftsmen also they can fall into a couple of divisions one is the vessels which are required for the worship of the god and uh, for lighting the lamps 
and those things you see uh, paraphernalia you see which uh, which were used while taking the maze on a procession of the records you come across you see the carpenter the smith the oil uh, oil mill uh, or oil uh, they are called tailies and um, and uh, and the tailors tailors you are those see who stitched the parasol or uh, the uh, such other things but as important as these are the flower collectors and garland makers garland making was a very important craft because you see, their uninterrupted supply of garland to meet all kinds of occasions and the rituals is your required ಇಂಪೀರಿಯಲ್ ಕ್ರಾಫ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದಾಗ ಇನ್ ಯಾವ ಸೆನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡು ನಾವು ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಅದನ್ನೇ ನಾನು ಹೇಳೋದು ನಿಮಗೆ ಹಂಗೆ ಹಂಪಿ ರೀಜನ್ ಕ್ರಾಫ್ಟ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳೋಕ್ಕಾಗಲ್ಲ ಅದನ್ನ ಅದು ತಪ್ಪಿಗೆ ನಮಗೆ ಅದು 